This one's gonna be on WinSSHFS. It's a way to mount your network shares uh, using the SSH. So make sure your server has SSH and you can access it and you can you know run the daemon and everything. Uh, make sure it's working. And then you can use this tool as just a front end to SSHFS. Uh, so you can go to this site here and this is where you would download it, right? And then you install it. Uh, since this is Windows, it'll take you like I think three or four reboots just uh, to install this fucking thing and after you reboot and everything and it works uh, you can go here what is this called I don't know it's called this little taskbar over here and you can right click on this little fish uh, logo and this is a show manager right and basically this is where you add in your SSH credentials basically so you can go add a new one and then you give it a name you can call it whatever you want let's say call this my share right and the host so basically the IP if it's a local IP then you type in you know your local IP if it's over the internet then you type in you know the internet IP uh, make sure you have ports open and everything and the default port for uh, SSH is 22 here right and your username so this is my username and if you're using password or what was that a private key, then it's up to you. So I'm using a password. Uh, and this is the directory. So by default, they give you like a, a root. But if you want to just restrict it to one uh, folder uh, or one, you know, yeah, one folder within your um, your server or whatever, you can do like slash media. If you want to like, uh, have like a certain um, was that uh, drives in there they can do that too or like your home folder whatever it is so let's say for example we're just going to use a uh, media only and here this one is just selecting your uh, drive letter that you want to use so you can use all the way up to uh, what's that Y here right so let's say for example we use uh, uh, what was that uh, Q okay for our drive and if you want to mount on boot up then you can check this box other than that we're just going to hit uh, what was that save first right so now we have it saved and then we just hit mount and that's it you're mounted and then you can go open up your um your file manager here and if you go to my computer here or computer you'll see it says share my share here on drive q and there you go you can access it so let's say for example i access my files here and i can watch uh what's that bleach uh it's on my server and it just streams it basically so you get the idea and you can access all your other files you know text files music files uh, pictures whatever it is it's all up to you anyways that's how you use that and again make sure you have your ssh daemon started on your server uh, and you can use this GUI here pretty simple that'll be it for this one